Welcome everybody, greetings to this video, my name's K, and today we're gonna have a look at the gameplay with my Cinderace build. It was from my video where I've created the guide and I want to be honest with you, this gameplay is really bad. Like, really bad, like stinking socks in a dumpster. But why do I show this? Because I want to show you one thing. There is a possibility, even if you're playing not the best, that you can still turn around the game. Of course, if you're playing better and you use your teammates accordingly, or in this case, if your teammates can help you out. But let's have a look, what have we done? You see, I'm trying to get this middle creep because I learned, okay, it's important to get it. And I even get away with the eject button. You have to see, I get away, I get to the goal, I don't take a berry, and what do I do? I'm overextending, I'm getting back to the Pikachu, I want to strike it down. And of course, that's the moment I've started feeding my lane. And <laughs> I'm sorry for you that you have to watch this, but you will see, feeding will go on even further. So... Let's start back. I thought, okay, it's just the first down state. It's not that bad. Let's get the APM on the top and let's level up further. Because, you know, Cinderace starts to be really effective at level 7. It gets a double power spike from both evolutions. And, of course, I see, okay, we've been attacked. Our Pikachu trying to defend. It's getting hit. And I, of course, of course, had to jump with a low sweep into them. The second death in a row. Okay, now I'm thinking, so keep your things together, okay? I have to make something right. And that's the moment I go top to get the Corpfish. Of course, I wasn't as intelligent to use the power boost to the end, but that doesn't matter. We are level 4, Corpfish getting down, we're getting the spawn, and we're leveling up. And you see, we've been feeding those enemies on the top line. They have time to get the energy from out from us, and that's the moment where they okay we have to change something or either way it could get stressful and there we see they are farming we're trying to hit them pikachu trying to hit me it of course hits me and that's the moment okay low sweep away again there is the goal what do i do i go back over extending because i think that i can secure the defeat the ko with the pikachu no that's not the case okay so we go back to the apm and you see if you take your time this was more clearly solved than the situation before you have to go back, you have to take some time to heal up. And this was a big mistake. Their Pikachu is at the goal, it can heal up, it has a level advantage. And of course, what do I do? I'm sweeping into it. I'm sweeping into the Pikachu. And <laughs> I was even so desperate, I thought, okay, do I have, do you have all the uh, snap control features on? Of course not, because this is the... I've used it for my advanced control settings. Of course I don't have it. And that's the moment I've been struggling to keep my concentration. So I've went down. Of course, Dreadnought is important. We've seen five seconds left. And then I think, holy moly, level eight already of that Absol. What have I been doing? And there we have it, level seven again. And this is an issue we are very, very underleveled. There's a Froakie, level four. So I wasn't the worst player in this case. I'm sorry, Froki, you, you haven't been bad as well, because, uh, li like I said, this game will turn around. And you see, there is Dreadnought. We have low sweep. We can charge into it. What, what am I doing? I'm going into that fight. Dreadnought having one-fourth of his health left, and I'm getting down. Of course I'm getting down. What have I thought about that? So, now we already have been feeding them level 6. They're starting to get level 10. And now this is total obliteration. You see, we're going up. Level 6 and level 4. Froakie doesn't have his first evolution. That's Pikachu. And then level 8 and level 9. Of course, they have the Unite move. And there are 3 against 2 of us. I don't stand a chance to get away. And you see, there are so many issues with my gameplay right now. I've been not concentrated. And I've been, of course, a little bit angry, to say, at least. And I'm trying to overextend. I'm trying to take fights I cannot win. And I forgot the most important thing in Pokemon Unite. It's... Leveling up, getting experience. And if you take a look at the top left corner of the map, you see how many Pokemon there are I could get for experience. But no, what do I do? I go, of course, against the Pikachu on level 10 and, and Guard Chomp, oh, it's, not, it's not the evolution, at level 9. So wh what do I expect? And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the turning point. I think this was the situation where I thought, okay, we have to change something. You see Rotom is up there, there are the enemies, and I see level 10, okay, I'm striking, and I'm... Okay, no, that doesn't make any sense. So now, now we're turning down the game, because now we're getting the creeps, so 
five unite points, we can get them. So this is enough to get level six and a half. Okay, not that what I was expecting. But again, keeping the farm alive, keep striking them down. Why? Because I need my power spike. Cinderace needs its power spike at level seven. Even the second Pokemon on the map doesn't isn't enough for that. You see how much experience I was leaking to get to this point where I can fight effectively. So we're fighting down in the jungle because nobody was there. I was taking on the one side the buff and now it was enough. We got even level eight. That means Blaze Kick and Faint are ready to use. And now we can use the full potential of Cinderace. So second Dreadnought up. I knew if we can get Dreadnought, with Dreadnought we can turn the game to our favor. And there are any enemies. Where are they? Two were down, but they can get back really quickly. Garchomp is on the map. Pikachu is fighting against it. There's Mr. Mime and me. We are striking down as hard as we can on Dreadnought. There comes Garchomp. What do we do? We're striking it back. Of course, we have to get it away because we, we are fighting. We are fighting. And who gets it? We have the situations that our quick attack speed leaves us with the win against Dreadnought. And that helps us push our level again to level 10. And now we have more equal chances to win. You see, Mr. Mime is level 11, so we weren't the best, of course, um, because the early and starting mid-game wasn't as good. And now I'm overextending again. I think, okay, level 10, now we can do it. We get Absol, but there is still Machamp, and we should have gotten away because Machamp can strike really hard and is also one level above us. There is Garchomp, and of course they're taking now our goal. But you know, goals are not that important because we know now, okay, we have limited the difference between experience so now we are almost the same level and now it's important to try to keep them away and to fill up our unite move again to have for the zapdos fight and of course to strike down enemies and you see with the team fight with the effort with the experience we got and without playing as unconcentrated as in the beginning we've started getting farm from the map we are able to strike them down again it's equal, because the rubber band effect in Pokemon Unite is quite strong, and with that, we have the possibility. There's Absol. What do we do? We can strike down Absol. Is it enough? No, but now we're not overextending anymore. We are getting to heal back. We are getting to get away, because we don't want to feed the enemy. And now we have Mr. Mime and our Machamp, and we are three against two. What do we do? Of course we strike them down now, because that's the moment we can do something. Pikachu was hiding in the... In the high bushes, of course, we cannot do anything about this. But I think it was enough. Do, do we secure anything? Yeah, Mr. Mime dropping his Unite move. And with that, we can get God of War and Pikachu, I think. Yes, both are down. Right before Zapdos occurring in 20 seconds. So the field was even more even. More even. Let's say it that way. So what do we do? Of course, taking more experience. I know, this wasn't my best play. I tried just to survive, just to make something to help my team stay viable. Because we know we are struggling. We have less points than the enemy. You see, we are really struggling, so we have to take Zapdos. Of course, we can make some goals, but when we go away, they take Zapdos and they strike those 500 points instantly and they dunk it. So in this case, we have Machamp there. And now with the level difference decreased, we can hit down Machamp. We can unite move against God of War. And so attack with Machamp Zapdos. Zapdos is down at health, uh, uh, health, uh, half of its health, I'm sorry. And now it's Absol coming and I'm getting stressed. Garchomp and Absol are here. What do we do? Absol doesn't stand a chance. It gets blown away. Zapdos is almost down. There is Garchomp. And what do we do? Do we get the last trick? Machamp gets it. We get plus 20 points and you see Four goals for our disposal. We've been playing not as good, and okay, you can say that this is a quite huge rubber band effect if you cannot strike goals on the enemy. But one goal down. Our, uh, the upper goal is down by Mr. Mime, so we have two goals left. We can go to the base. Pikachu on the other side on our base, of course, is striking 100 points down. I should have ported back to base. This is again overextending. I didn't need to fight this Machamp. I didn't have any points, and I could fight against Pikachu to get it from our goal. But here, getting lucky, Garchomp doesn't strike the last hit. It's trying to get back. So I'm porting, I'm jumping to the middle, porting back, because I thought, okay, let's heal up. 43 seconds. Now look at those pesky backdoors. So no enemy can take them. That's important because I don't know how many points are left. The last information about points is at the two minute mark. So we've seen, okay, we're really struggling. So at least 100 points difference. We've made some 
But the enemies, of course, also made some, so we have to keep them away. There's Machamp, zero points, it's not interesting for us. 19 seconds left, Pikachu already dunked down its Unite point. So, and now we're getting Machamp down, that's just the revenge for the fighting against. Level 15, we've made it from the worst game, from the start of the early game and the mid game to level 15, and we can still go those 20 points, strike them down, and I knew that it would only strike 40, so leaving the goal for Pikachu if it wanted to smash those 100 in, that's important. And you see, if without those 40 points, we would have made it, and that is really amazing. So you see, people, if you're losing early game, if you're losing mid game, don't throw everything away. Think about what you can do, take enemy Pokemon from the field, experience from the wild Pokemon, then take down Dreadnought, get that level difference back down to a lower number and then strike back tactically. My friends, that was a game of Cinderace. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Kay. I would be really happy if you could support this video with a like and a channel with a subscription so we can create more amazing videos and create a community about Pokemon Unite. That's everything I have to say. Thanks for watching and see you soon.